Hey everybody, kamusta na? It's your uh, Sir LB again as we continue our discussion on taxation. I know um, we are so excited for our midsummer exam. Sino excited na? Like excited, sir. I'm so excited or sir, wai pa on or something. No, uh, hopefully matapos na natin tonight and we're discussing module 6. So ang ating uh, midsummer from Module 1 to Module 6 now until output but uh, zero rated sales. So tonight, um, I will just uh, go over sa ating module and siguro hindi man tana natin nga i-discuss, no? Just those uh, important lessons lang nga at least magamit natin no? sa ating exam and some things sabi um, very ano lang, redundant lang siya like uh, on the um, importation on kumbaga na discuss na natin before so for the uh, para maging efficient na natin nga time discussion tonight no um we'll just go over sa mga important things okay hindi na ako guy i i know uh, you have a good night rest sa tuwing nga sunday and uh, we have a very very um fruitful discussion last saturday ano and hopefully may nakuha ka mo nga something like some sort of motivation it's sabi ko nga it's uh, more than that uh, positive thinking it's more than that it's uh, talking about our deepest why no why we are doing this why i am doing this to you i'm i just want to give everything that i have tonight and hopefully my impart ko sa inyo ang knowledge or how to elaborate this thing sa ating module. Halos na na, actually guys, given na ito sa ating module. It's just that how you can um, eat it or bite it one page at a time. No? Sometimes though, super crowded ka, ala, ang tulunan ko sa ating libro. It's so heavy na, no? but um, take courage. Okay? Just have that confident expectation that you will get through this. Okay? So excited sa 1.0 grade or 1.25. Na type on, your, on the live chat what you want na grade no at the end of this uh, mid summer. Okay. I myself I'm so excited for this new learnings. Even I nagalearn ako sa atin studies and I am so excited as well as we continue to read through and one thing lang gusto ko sa inyo tonight. Um, just have that presence of mind. Bisan din na kamo, wala man kami signal or something, right? Um, as I promised, so we will have some perks. No, this week I will just announce no sa ating um, free load or free no mga dumakinang lanaton, free insaymada or something no that we, that would uh, siguro it's not to entice you but to give you some sort of. Um, motivation and I know hindi man ako makabayad sa inyo nga effort hindi ko mabayaran ninyo nga uh, routine sa studies niyo but you know guys um, I'm so proud of you saludo gila ako sa inyo yung nakaya nyo ang three subjects no for this summer and I know um, it's very challenging sa inyo nga part and I am here just to um, kumbaga I'm just an older brother para sa inyo no? I'm just uh, here to inspire you, to give you some sort of motivation to live just another day in your life. No, just, just uh, be in the in the moment, guys. Just be in the the kumbaga, the, the presence sa ating topic tonight. Okay, set aside those negative thoughts, set aside those uh, mga stress niyo. Okay, so we're doing this and. Uh, just to give you hope, okay? Just to give you a glance. Hindi ko man may explain tanan guys sa ating uh, discussion tonight, but hopefully I could uh, give my best to all of you, okay? Okay. Let's start. Module 6 for output VAT. Uh, zero rated sales ang ating topic. Again, ang ating module, uh, we give credit to uh, Mr. Bangawan, Business and Trade Taxation 2019 Edition, okay? So our objective tonight, I will go uh, siguro as fast as I can because we have so many slides nga i-discuss, okay? So we can, uh, well, kung hindi man man nag-gets nag ang nga previous nga minutes nga discussion, you can uh, scroll back naman ano, sa itong YouTube uh, 
YouTube uh, live natin, okay? Okay. Objective natin tonight, simple lang. Uh, one and two, okay? Uh, concept of zero-rated sales. I-discuss natin ang difference between VAT exemption and zero rating. So, what, anong ginamin kung exempted siya sa VAT? Anong ginamin niya kung zero-rated ang sale? Okay. And second part sa ating uh, discussion, zero-rated sales of goods. Okay? Zero-rated sa export sales and effectively zero-rated sales. It's just uh, very technical lang siya. Damo ka kinanglan tandaan niya enumeration. Damo ka kinanglan i- 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 tawag di. Hindi man memorize, no? Kundi makuha mo lang ang concept niya. Why? Tama niya yung natabo. Okay? Okay. So, first part, we will discuss ang concept of zero-rated sale. Anong difference ang VAT exemption and zero rating? So, we will discuss each um, distinction sa VAT exemption and zero rating. Okay. Ano ginasiling ko nung sa zero-rated? Okay? Na sales. Basic, basically, foreign consumptions. Example, mga export sales na ito. Zero-rated siya. Export meaning uh, from the Philippines, di ba? Mag-go abroad ang imunga uh, product. So, ginabaligya mo sa gwa. So, export sale. So, usually or basically, eh, kung wala man yung mga exemption, mga zero-rated na siya na sale. And also, foreign consumption like export of goods or services is not charged with consumption uh, taxes. Consumption uh, taxes like mga VAT, hence, mga export sales natin of VAT taxpayers are subject to VAT. Subject siya sa VAT pero zero ang rate niya. Zero ang percentage. Export sales of a non-VAT uh, taxpayer are exempt from Okay, kung non-VAT naman siya, syempre, uh, exempted siya sa 3% general percentage tax. Okay, anong, ano ko ng benefit sa zero rating? Right. Ang benefit niya, okay, the zero rated sale will have a zero output VAT. Pero, with a deductible input VAT. So, in short, kung may zero rated sale ka, wala ka balayran nga output VAT kay BIR. Kundi, may deductible ka nga input VAT. As such, the taxpayer will fully recover the VAT he paid on his domestic purchases and on importation either by credit to any tax liability. In short, ang muna ang benefit niya. Wala siya output VAT na baleran sa BIR, pero may input VAT siya nga pwede i-deduct sa iya nga um, mga purchases diri sa mga domestic sales niya sa Philippines within the Philippines di ba kung within the Philippines lang domestic sales nara sa baleran niya output but so pwede niya magamit ang uh, related dito sa zero rated sale nga purchases okay i-compare naton anong difference sa zero rated sales and exempt sales pareho sila okay will not have output VAT. Wala sila output VAT. Kaya siyempre, exempt sale siya, di ba? So, wala siya output VAT. And, um, zero rated exempt, in both cases, the taxpayer does not pay VAT. Okay? In most cases. Not all cases. Kundi in most cases. Because may mga exemption na that later. Okay? The difference lies in the treatment of input VAT. The input VAT, in the case of exempt sale, is non-creditable and non-refundable. Okay? Simple term, yung input VAT sa gin-discuss natin, kung zero-rated sale siya, vatable siya, pero zero, so pwede may input. Okay? Zero-rated, vatable siya, zero lang ang percentage. Tapos, may input VAT benefit siya. Here comes exempt sales. Exempted, wala man siya output VAT, pero wala man siya input tax na pwede i- uh, credit dito sa mga baleran niya sa mga domestic. Okay? Nag-gets yung ang difference? Zero rated versus sa exempt sales. To illustrate, no? Si Assuming Rizal Corporation, mayra siyang uh, gimbakal. Okay? 350,000 worth some goods. Excluding na 42,000. Uh, input tax sa mga game purchase siya. It exported. So, nag-export siya sa 12,000 
dollars which is equivalent to 510,000 okay and 10,000 uh, in expenses what if you know so first uh, illustration natin what if si Rizal Corporation is a VAT taxpayer meaning kung VAT taxpayer siya pag export niya zero rated ang sales tama so may pwede siya maklaim nga input tax na related dito okay. zero output VAT pero ang input VAT niya say yung local purchases 42,000 so may excess input VAT siya di ba 40, uh, 42,000 excess input VAT on zero rated sales is claimable pwede yung maklaim in full as a tax credit against other output VAT niya dito sa Philippines okay so zero ang VAT niya output VAT sa export sales niya pwede siya makaklaim sa input VAT na related dito sa export niya pwede niya mag-deduct dito sa yung baleran sa output VAT okay assuming ko no um si Rizal Corporation is subject to 30% corporate income tax it shall compute its taxable amo ni siya ang iyang computation okay 10,000 di ba may sales siya 510 <coughs> 510 no kisa doon na paos ka na pero sige lang go lang <laughs> okay Less mo ang cost sa gimbakal niya, 350,000, di ba? Gross income, then less ang mga deduction, 150,000. Multiply by, just correct your notes guys. This is uh, 30%, no? Pa-correct na lang please. So, 45,000 income tax due niya. The input VAT cannot be claimed as deduction against gross income in income tax session because it is a tax credit or a tax refund. So, hindi siya pwede ma-claim. Kailain man ang nature sina. So, it's a kumbaga income taxation. Kaya ari ang nga nga ginistoryahin sa VAT naman is uh, reporting di ba sa BIR nga ito nga mga VATable sales. It's different naman di ba? Input VAT cannot be claimed as a deduction against gross income. Hindi siya pwede ma-claim. It's a different type sa nga ito nga filing. Okay, assuming non-VAT siya, so meaning non-VAT, di ba, generally, subject siya sa 3% na percentage tax. Okay, mag-compute kita, kung sa goods sold, uh, 42,000, di na lang 42,000, sir. Amo na siya ang input tax kami na. So, you, you don't recognize input tax as uh, input tax na dito sa mga balance sheet. Kundi gina-recognize mo siya as part sa mga cost of goods sold part 1 sa sang expense mo okay that's why naging 392 and um, same computation uh, just correct i-correct nyo lang guys ha I think uh, may mga ang numbers na ito percentage di ba ang assumption kagina is 30% so times mo 30% the input part is claimed as deduction against gross income its uh, tax benefits to the taxpayer is only uh, 30 percent sum 42,000 so we'll just correct it guys no sa atong uh, computation yeah something is uh, missing lang there is atong uh, di ba may yeah its tax benefits to the taxpayer is only uh, 30 percent sum uh, 42,000. Dinagalin ang 42,000 input tax, di ba? Dere. So, 30% sina. Pwede ya, uh, ang parts ang iya benefits, okay? Thus, but exam sales result in partial. So, partial lang relief to the taxpayer while zero rated is a total relief. Sa babaw, zero rated siya, di ba? Dere naman sa dalong. Uh, rather, ang dire sa itong example kagina, um, kung sa zero rated uh, sales na ton, tanan, fully recover, no? 100% sa input VAT. Okay, pwede yung madidak. Except lang dire sa exempt sales, it's a different treatment. But exempt sales result in partial relief to the taxpayer. Partial lang, portion lang siya. Okay? 
So to summarize ang ating table of comparison, input VAT, wala siya. Uh, output pareho sa VAT exam and zero rated. Ang input VAT uh, treatment, deductible against gross income kung VAT exam siya na sales. Reditable or refundable naman sa zero rated. Extend sa relief na sa tax. Diba, doon nagbalis ka dahil lang nagmuna lang sa zero rated sales kagina. Full relief kung zero rated and partial relief lang kung um, VAT exempt. Okay? So, second part. First part na ito, actually, super ano lang siya, super uh, short lang, diba? Ang ito niya, second part, medyo malawig-lawig niya siya. But uh, please bear with me, okay? We will discuss uh, some... I think vital ano lang parts ng ating nga export sales. So ano ano ang mga exemption nila, paano naging uh, zero rated siya ng sales sa goods, zero rated sa services and different types of uh, sales na related din sa zero rated. And effectively ano ang ginatawag na effectively zero rated sales. Okay. Zero rated sales of goods, there are two types. No, um, there is about as we discuss, may two types kita ng zero rated sales of goods. Number one, export sales, and number two, effectively zero rate or zero rated sales. Eventually, uh, kung mag magambal kita ng export sales, will only include the following. So we discuss na natin ang tatlo under uh, export sales. So, paano magambal na direct export? Ano ginamin sa uh, sale kung nabaligya kaya sa economic zones and tourism enterprise? Okay, number three, sale of goods, properties, etc. Engage in international shipping or international uh, air okay, operations. So, okay. Number one, direct export. Ano ko nung boat si Lingon sa direct export na ito? Is, is the sale ang uh, actual uh, shipment of goods from the Philippines okay, to a foreign country irrespective of any arrangement sa shipping. Now, regardless, that influences or determines the transfer of ownership of the goods so exported. Ang required sin is paid for inacceptable foreign currency or its equivalent in goods or services. So, ang requirement to know under sa direct export, duha ka bilog. Paid for inacceptable foreign currency. So, ginbayran siya sa acceptable nga foreign currency. Number two, accounted no? in accordance with the rules and regulations sa BSP, meaning ang currency naging pusar, di ba? sa pag uh, uh, tawag din, sa pag consummate or pag uh, transact no sa export sales natin. Illustration at Andre, XLT company uh, nagbaligya siya the following sa resident alien, so place delivered. Okay? Um within the Philippines, so naka-receive siya sa 15,000 nga dollars nga cash from the resident alien. Okay? So, is it a acceptable foreign currency? Yes. So, dollar, di ba? A visiting tourist. So, from outside the Philippines. So, may mga turista. Okay? From the Philippines. <coughs> we will take it na ito, no? 420,000 na cash. So, it's a uh, acceptable mga Japan yung foreign currency. A Filipino employee in Japan. So, yung export niya, ang yung sale, uh, dito sa Japan. So, nag-receive siya sa 800,000 uh, yen no? na cash. And a business in Indonesia. Indonesia, ang place nga gin-deliver. So, gin-deliver sa Indonesia. 10,000 dollars in services. So, mix. No? Mix ang iyang uh, mix ang iyang uh, uh, tawag dito, ang iyang negosyo or business. Relevant convers conversion. So, naka-statement kong Anong conversion niya? Okay, 52, 60, and 0.5. Okay. The following are zero rated. Ano ang mga zero rated? Okay. From the Philippines to other country. Diba? Zero rated siya. Export sales. Okay. Japan and 
um, Indonesia. So, kung mga zero rate and sale, convert mo. So, total natin sa zero rate and sale. Kaya eh, syempre, ang ari, ang, ang place and delivery is within the Philippines lang. So, hindi siya matawag na export sales. ba? Diba? Domestic consumption are subject to 12% na ba? Okay, within the Philippines mo lang, there's no export sale. So, di ba may requirement kita na direct export siya. So, hindi siya consider as direct export. Therefore, subject siya sa 12% niya. But, okay. Illustration natin number 2. No? A VAT registered export trader had the following export sales. So, processed food and fruits and vegetables. So, both are zero rated because from the Philippines to, di ba? Uh, nag-export siya. So, technically, zero rated siya. Whereas, ang fruits gani within the Philippines, di ba? Ang siling, uh, bat exempt siya, di ba? Bat exempt sale. So, they are zero rated for foreign consumption. Okay, liwaton ko. Ang fruits and veg vegetables are bat exempt for domestic consumption. Kung within the Philippines lang, nag nagbaligya ka sa uh, fruits and vegetables. So, for domestic, but exempt siya. But they are zero rated for foreign consumption. Okay? But exempt ang fruits, pero pag export mo, ngayon mo siya nga zero rated for foreign consumption. The input VAT on both exports shall be creditable against output VAT or claimable through refund or tax, tax credit. So nakuha nyo? So pwede siya since zero rated parehos ang sales, Ang input VAT nga related dito sa pag-export niya, ng mga ging export ng product, subject ah, pwede siya ma uh, credit or claim against sa uh, uh, output VAT. Okay? What if kuno si XHI Corporation is in that VAT? Kaya sa babaw na itong example, VAT siya. Export sales shall be considered exempt. So, magiging exempt na siya. Okay, only, di ba nga itong discussion, for VAT ang mga export sales for VAT. So, maging uh, considered exempt siya. But XHI can claim the input VAT as expense. Okay? Exempt ang sale kung naan VAT. Okay? Kaya syempre hindi man siya subject sa VAT. So, percentage siya dun. Exempt na pero pwede siya makaklaim sa input VAT as expense. Pwede siya makaklaim as expense. Okay? Hindi siya mag pwede maka-record sa input VAT creditable, di ba, sa balance sheet niya. Pwede niya pero pwede niya makonsider as expense. Okay? Sa line item siya sa profit and loss. Export commission and consignment. Kaya ang kinanglan lang na itong tandaan din eh. Um, registered shall include commission income. So, pod na ang mga commission, di ba? Kung ga-export ka, tapos mayara kang mga commission na style, so, you put muna sa yung mga uh, income or sa yung mga sales. However, export, eh, ang exportation ng mga goods on consignment shall not be considered export until the export products consigned abroad are in fact sold by a consignee. Okay. Ha. Tandaan natin ng however. Okay. In general, export, commission, and consignment. Part siya sa uh, export sales na zero rated. But, or however, pula itong gidanay, okay? Pula itong gidanay nga ang ging consign niya nga goods dito sa abroad is actually nabaligya din man. And that's the time na pwede siya makakonsider as export sales. Okay? Sale to economic zones or tourism zones. By legal fiction daw, Economic zones, uh, including tourism zones, are considered foreign territories. Okay? Meaning, ang mga, mga uh, economic zones, like, I think mga consider sa mega world area, ang IT, IT zone, di ba? IT economic zones. Nga ang mga BPO is from other countries, tapos ga put up sila di business. Foreign territories siya. Okay? Hence, the sales to locators, Within the Philippines siya, di ba? Pero ang BPO is from outside, mga foreigner. So, technically, locators, ang mga sales natin sa ila in the zones are, ang tawag, technical exportation. There's no 
Kumbaga daw wala naman nagwa technically within the parameters ng Philippine diba, jurisdiction. But within the Philippines, so put up sila business, makonsider na ang foreign territories Japan. Okay? So that's why, ang tandaan natin, excuse me, uh, technical exportation. Okay. Ano mga example sa Philippine ecozones? So may ginitawag kita ng PESA, kagayan uh, special economic zone. So, and the list will follow, no? So, muna siya. So, naka-state ang Saulo na ito ng 8 kabilom. So, I think it's not part ng itong example kagina ng no? mga BPO. May mga ano lang, ng mga special zones lang din na naka-state. So, ang 8 nga niya, actually, uh, we need to uh, memorize. Although there are BPOs, like sa diri na situated sa Mandoriao, no? Um, meron na dang PESA ano uh, sila accredited so but exempt sila no so ang, ang sale natin sa ila could be considered as uh, zero rated ng Japan may mga pesa certificate na sila okay the zero rating of sales to registered uh, enterprises kuno in the train law was give me to siya ni uh, president thereby creating that impression that locators will then be subject to 12% but the zero rating of sales to registered enterprises ko no ang walang naangging sa tourism zones or economic zones ang muna naangging veto ni president since the train law did not repeal okay ang train law wala gimbayluhan ng RA 7916 the special economic zone act which provides ko no Nga, ang special economic zones are to be operated and managed as a separate customs territory. The DOF maintained the status quo. So, wala mag -apple. Accordingly, the sales to PESA locators will still, okay, ang ma-prevail, syempre mas bugat ang Republic Act, di ba? Compared sa direct train law, wala man sila nag-repeal sa Section 8. So, i-assume natin, Gapon, nga it's a zero-rated Gapon until contrary a contrary law or regulation is passed needless needless to to say passing back to peasant locators which are primarily exporters would result in voluminous claim for refunds or credits causing additional unnecessary workloads to the kumbaga daw additional workloads ang sa BIR kuma pa-pass on kapag isang batch sa mga peza locators so better not to charge them uh, 12% on that. Okay? As we move on, the sale of goods, uh, supplies, equipment, and fuel to persons engaged in Tadanatan International Shipping or International Air Transport Operation would be considered as diba, um, uh, huh? export sales. Yeah? Generally consumed outside the Philippines. The sale to these entities is a foreign consumption rather than a domestic. Siyempre, international siya eh. So, foreign consumption siya. Hence, these are subject to zero rated VAT. Okay, tandaan natin, international shipping or sa air transport operations. Okay? Zero rating is limited to goods, supplies, and equipment and fuel pertaining to attributable to the transport of goods and passengers from a port in the Philippines directly to a foreign port or vice versa without docking or stopping at any port in the Philippines unless docking or stopping, no? puro lang docking and stopping <laughs> for the purpose of unloading passengers and cargoes. Okay, in short, zero rated ang aton nga, basta magambal ka nga international shipping and international air transport. Mula ng tandaan ito. Okay. Example, si Balam Company, VAT taxpayer siya, nagbaligya sa isang supply sa Pan, Pan Pacific um, Airlines. So, ang air, airline is a international operation. So, ang domestic operation, syempre, diba, the sale of supplies to airlines domestic operation is Kung domestic operation siya gani, so within the Philippines lang. Although international siya, di ba? So kaso ang iya nga, one is within the Philippines lang. So subject siya sa 12% pa. So ang sale naman sa international operation, sa mga supplies nila for international 
uh, related. Basta ganyan ang key term is international, guys. Amo lang na ang zero rated nga VAT. Okay? Again, sa true or false, no? Kung VAT taxpayer siya, VATable siya, pero 0%. Kung non-VAT siya, ano tawag sa iya? VAT exempt. Okay? Effectively, zero rated sales. Ano meaning sila? Refers to sales uh, to person or entities whose exemption under special laws. So, may special laws may cover. So, that's why ginatawag siyang effectively zero rated. To which Philippines is a signatory effectively subject such sales to zero rate. So, in general, um, di ba subject sa sa bata na niya sales? So, in general naman, tanang niya export sales are zero rated. Except, no? may mga exemption man siya lapon. Mayroon mga things nga hindi siya uh, zero rated, subject siya tani sa VAT, pero may mga uh, effectively zero rated sales kita. So, I hope nag over nyo yung list, no? Amo ni mga example natin nga, ging grant sila sa indirect tax exemption under special laws. So, kumbaga may cover sa ila nga special laws. Okay, ADB, um, sa Rice Research naton, UN, that covers sa ano, WHO, UNICEF. Okay? Uh, USAID, naraman mga embassy, qualified, employees, independents, subject to reciprocity rule. Reciprocity meaning kung ang ilang country, exempted man ang Philippines no, or mga Filipinos did do, amo na, do may reciprocal relationship or reciprocal uh, rule. So kung ano din to, dapat dire sa Philippines applicable man siya. Nga, uh, nga kung baga mga benefits nila. Okay? Uh, National Red Cross, Philippine uh, National Red Cross. So PADCOR, na, na under na sila sa mga special uh, laws or agreements. Because of the indirect tax exemption, ang malang tanda natin guys, the sales of these entities are subject to 0% VAT. Are they, ta- are, are they VATable? Yes, VATable sales na, but 0 rated. Okay. Ang requirement natin sa, sa ano, uh, effective 0 rating, okay, requires prior ap- uh, application with the appropriate BIR office. So, dapat uh, kung sabihin ka nga mga region, dapat naka-apply ka sa BIR without an approved na. Dapat, nandaan na natin, without an approved application for effective zero rating, the transaction otherwise entitled to zero rating shall be considered exempt. Okay. Di ba na-differentiate natin yung zero rate? It's zero rated na sale and sa exempt, no? So, dapat um, maka-apply ko, no? So, may approved dapat ng application for effective zero rating. An approved application shall be given prospective effect. Prospective meaning from the date of the approved application onwards. Prospective. Di ba? Opposite siya na uh, retrospective. So, go work back siya. So, prospective effect from the date uh, received by the BIR. The same shall be valid until December 31 of the same year and renewable siya. Okay? And again, ang tandaan natin sa reciprocity exemption on embassies and their personal. Embassies ko no, and their qualified employees and dependents of employees do not have indirect exemption from under the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Operation, uh, Relations but they, uh, they may be exempt under the principle of reciprocity. So, under sila sa principle of reciprocity. So, just uh, go over with this list, no? Sa ating multiple choice, siguro may idugang lang din uh, uh, another entity. So, ano di ang mga example sa uh, entities na may indirect tax exemption sila. So, di ba? It's a no-brainer. So, kinagalan natin i- just hapos lang niya, ADB, IRR, UN, USAID, uh, Embassies, uh, National Red Cross, and PAGCOR. Okay? Under the reciprocity rule, ang foreign ko ng governments granting Philippines, which is na-discuss natin, na ginag-grant sa Philippine Embassies, so, shall likewise be conferred same man ang treatment 
there is a embassy sa ibang mga foreign countries, there's sa Philippines. So dapat same treatment kung siya. Qualified foreign embassies and their qualified personnels are qualified dependent and qualified dependent of the latter are issued. So dapat mera sila VAT exemption certificates or VAT exemption ID. Okay? VAT taxpayer selling to foreign embassies, personal or their dependents with VEC or VEIC shall be entitled to the benefit of zero rating. Okay? Illustration. So, may rakitang Ukraine and Russian embassy na customer. May ABC comp- uh, Corporation. So, ang um, unique lang sine ang may reciprocity exemption. Kung without, no? Kung without, subject sa sa 12% nga VAT. Kung with, okay? Magiging zero rated VAT siya. So, very important din ang certificate. Okay? Sa mga companies na ito. No? In the future, kung mga CPAs na ka mo, uh, ma-apply yun din na ito. Actually, even sa amon, no? Currently, as we work sa hotel, so, damo kita customers from foreign uh, countries. So, importante yun ang mga VAT exempt certificates na ito prior to uh, giving them their statement of accounts, no? Kung wala sina, so, technically, gastart ang ang challenge kung wala certificate upon uh, check-in, upon availments and services, tapos late na maabot ang certificate, so you just do some adjustments naman sa records na ito. So, it's very critical, no? Okay. Yeah, we're done with this illustration. And we continue with previously serrated sales um, discussion. So, ang maniko ng apat kabilog, no? Before, naging discuss natin nga zero rated siya. So, meaning sobong, to be subjected na sa uh, 12% VAT upon successful completion ng naka-asterisk ang tatlo. Diba? Ang wala lang di ang sale of good to BSP. Kay now exempt effective January 1, 2018. Foreign. So, i-discuss nila ito ng isa-isa. Foreign currency. Uh, sales under the internal export program and sales to Boy Scout of the Philippines. How so, many ang previously zero rated sale? The term foreign currency dem- denominated sale kuno, both si Lingon sina uh, nag uh, baligya kita sa mga non-residents, no? Non-residents meaning hindi mga Filipino or hindi taga dire no sa Philippines of goods except except for export no of automobiles so may exemption siya tanda natin basta gani guys kung ga tuon kita let's remember sa mga exemption okay just put some highlighters some underscore no export Ex- may exemption kita export of mga auto naton and non essential commodities kaya ang cover lang sina di ba goods and services pero except sa automobiles non-essential commodities assembled or manufactured in the Philippines for delivery to a resident in the Philippines. Okay? Paid for in acceptable foreign currency and accounted for in accordance with the rules and regulation of BSP. Ang muna ko ng boat sale sa number one, foreign currency denominated sale. So, ging, ging denominate siya okay, sa foreign currency. Okay? Example, nagbaligya ako sa non-resident trees sa Philippines uh, worth 10,000 pesos. Tapos, since ang uh, currency is dollar, so ginapakonvert. So, mo na ang tawag foreign currency denominated sale. And then, sales under the internal export program of the government. So, may tawag man kitang uh, sales ang locally manufactured. So, yung manufacture siya diri sa Philippines and yung assemble diri sa Philippines. So, tanda natin, goods for household and uh, personal use of Filipinos abroad. Para sa abroad siya. And other non-residents of the Philippines as well as returning overseas uh, Filipinos under internal export program of the government paid for uh, in convertible foreign currencies and accounted for in accordance with the rules, of course, ang uh, BSP natin shall also be considered 
export sales. Again, amani ang previously zero rated na sales. Amani ito. Okay? To be subjected to 12% ba upon successful completion and implementation of an effective VAT refund system. So, conditional pa niya. Okay? Yeah, I think that's it for under the zero rated natin na uh, discussion. Previously, zero rated sales. Let's move forward to uh, zero rated sales of services. Kagina, ang first part, in discuss natin, zero rated sales of goods. So this time, we will discuss about uh, mga services naman. Okay? Eventually, zero-rated sales of services will only include na. Will only include, pero ano siya kabilog. So, yung say, sound ni natin. Huh? Ang anong ni kabilog, but mga salient, ano lang, mga important or mga vital principles lang natin nga i-go over. Okay? Kisa kung after mo basa, pag-highlight mo daw, tanan nga highlight, tanan na lang. So, just... Highlight mga key terms like INSEP, mga HOWEVER, mga IN GENERAL, or mga EXEMPTIONS, or mga NOT INCLUDED. Pari sa ini. Zero Rated Sales of Services. Okay? Amo lang ni ang ma-include under this classification. So, ano lang siya kabilog. Okay, number one sina, Sale of Services to Non-Residents. Okay? I hope na go over nyo ang list. And uh, mamove forward kita. Okay? Ano ang namin sa number one? Sales of services to non-resident. Okay? Services ko no other than, so, except. Except, ha? Except sa tatlo. Other than processing, manufacturing, or repacking rendered to a person engaged in business conducted outside the Philippines or to a non-resident person not engaged in business who is outside the Philippines when the services are performed. So, ano ko na? The term other services, okay, is not limited only, is not limited only to project studies, information, services, and engineering, and architectural designs. The term encompasses any other services. So, usually yung kakatabo siya sa mga like mga um, mga IT, no? Mga locally, diri dir sila ga-work sa Philippines, tapos ga-sign up sila online. Mga, I don't know, nakabati ang masang ODES, nakabati ang masang um, ano pa, fiber, mga online, like ma-sign up ka dira, tapos magdira ka mga work sa ila. So, mga kliyente mo da usually mga foreigner or mga non-residents. So, usually, amun siya mga zero-rated mga sales na ton. Tapos, uh, other than except diri sa tatlo, processing, manufacturing, or repacking, um, services must be performed in the Philippines. So, amun mga requirement. So, um, pila ni Camilo? I think tatlo lang requirement na ton for zero rating of services to non-residents. Number one sina, dapat yun ang service in perform diri sa Philippines, not sa outside the Philippines. So, within the Philippines lang siya. Letter B, the services must be paid for in acceptable uh, foreign currency or its equivalent in goods or services. So, dapat kuno ang currency, dapat acceptable foreign currency or its equivalent in goods or services okay and na uh, pangatlo letter c the payment must be accounted for though ka uh, actually redundant tama lang no dapat bsb ano siya um compliant sa rules and regulations okay illustration excel tailoring a vat registered um taxpayer is engaged in soga panahi siya sewing business during the month so muni ang iyang mga um, services nga ging render so may ara siya school uniform sa D DLSU so Philippine University so local siya okay of course kung local so subject sa sa uh, VAT okay kay VAT taxpayer siya garments 
for Levi's, a foreign dressmaker. Um, Finesse, a foreign textile naman sa curtains. So, manufacturer. So, foreign textile manufacturer. Ano ganito tawag na ton? Okay. Tatlo dapat... Um, tatlo dapat ang tawag di ng criteria or requirement para ma uh, consider siya as zero rating or zero rated siya okay must be performed in the Philippines okay so tanan local man di ba tapos ang cliente ya so ang, ang first subject sa sabat 12% ang second since domestic di ba si DLC ang second Zero rated bat siya kay foreign, foreign ano siya, uh, dressmaker. So, may exception lang diri ang sa finesse. Di ba may nasiling kita diri na except or other than processing, manufacturing, or repacking. Tama? So, meaning, the receipt from finesse is but exempt because it is a foreign consumption but is not paid in foreign currency. Okay? Ang balde rin, di ba? Dapat must be acceptable, must be paid in, in acceptable foreign currency. So, ano gimbayad sa iya? Okay? Foreign uh, textile manufacturer, pero peso ang sign. So, very, sa ito na exam galing, very critical man ang peso sign or dollar sign, no? So, since peso sign siya, though, ang transaction nyo, though as if, uh, tawag din, as if local, no? Tama? Kaya dapat foreign yan, currency ang yung bayo, dapat same. Okay? So, hindi siya ma-treat as zero rated. So, makonsider siya, it is a foreign consumption. So, may mo siya nga, VAT exempt. Naging VAT exempt siya. So, ano ang iyong uh, consequence? Or ang iyong... Uh, Uh, matabo sa mga uh, uh, reporting KBIR. Siyempre, hindi ka makaklaim sa input VAT. Di ba? Kay VAT exempt na siya. So, VAT exempt versus sa uh, zero rated na sales. So, sa VAT exempt, wala ka na uh, input tax na pwede maklaim kay BIR. Okay? Effectively, zero rated sales of services. Local, okay? The local sale of services to a person or entity who was granted indirect okay, exemption under special laws or international agreements shall likewise be subjected to 0% VAT. So, local sale of services to a person who was granted indirect tax exemption. Okay. Dalikan lang na ito. Ano to ang, naka, ang natagaan sa indirect? Okay, Ari. Amun eh. So, pito kabilog. Ano nga siya mga indirect tax exemption ng mga uh, entities. So, let's go back sa ating example. Okay. Sa example na ton, after sa Excel tailoring, si janitor, okay? Sa mga janitors na ito, no? mga palanggaan janitor. So, sa English, mga janitor, <laughs> a bad taxpayer, Si Sir, bala mga jokes yung wala eh. No? Iba taxpayer provides security and janitorial services to building sa ang bala na ton, sa International Rice Research Institute or IRI IRI or IRI no? paid the taxpayer 200,000 pesos for the services rendered. Zero rated siya, di ba? May qualified na siya eh. Qualified for but zero rating, but janitor must first secure an approval from the BIR for, for an effective zero rating of receipts. So, dapat galit. Kung ikaw naka, nakabaligya sa BIR, uh, naka, I mean, ikaw nga provide some security or example si janitor, local siya, di ba? But taxpayer. Tapos nga transact siya sa IRI, which is naka-avail sila sa indirect tax sa... Uh, Exemption, di ba? So, dapat si janitor makatuwa na kay BIR. Uy, BIR, um, mga ayaw ko sa approval or secure approval from BIR for an effective zero rating of the receipts. So, makuha ka gila na eh, sa approval from the BIR bago nila masiling na zero rated na ang sale mo kay 
uh, earring okay sa mga special uh, entities na naka-avail sa indirect tax uh, exempted mga tax okay next services rendered to a person or two persons engaged in international shipping so bari ko alam mo no kagina nag-change lang services Ari, kagina is goods, subong services. It's the same thing no, sa international shipping or air transport operation. May nadugang lang actually including leases of properties or uh, leases of property for use thereof. Okay? May dugang siya. Ang ilang renta sa property. Siyempre ang rent, di ba? Hindi man siya, servi- Ay, hindi siya goods. Hindi service siya. Wala kang madami ginang bakal. Okay, rent. So, ang manila dugang. Kagina sa goods na ginbaligyan mo, amo lang na ang, ang na-include. Mga usual goods. Mga eh, excluding mga non-essential, di ba? Mga automobiles. Na. Z- uh, to be considered for zero rating, the service shall be, guys, highlight exclusively for international shipping or air transportation example s2 technologies uh, specialized in aircraft repair maintenance services so my client siya malay airlines and airfield malay airlines international air carrier while air airfield nadulang h is a domestic carrier so ang kwa naton mga international lang so ang service fee from airfield no subject siya sa 12% pat kay wala ka malang tansak siya ano gani? Kitern na ton international shipping or air transport operation ang service fee from Malay Airlines shall be subject to 0% na bat another one transport of passengers and cargo by a domestic air or sea carriers from the Philippines to a foreign country okay Yung mga like Air Philippines, di ba? Yung mga or Philippine Airlines. So, ga-transport sila sa passenger and cargo from domestic, from the Philippines and then outside the country. So, ang outgoing transport services ko ni, domestic air carriers sa dagat constitute services rendered in the Philippines to non-residents. It is therefore subject to zero-rated VAT. Ang incoming naman from from uh, outside okay incoming transport services of domestic and sa air or dagat okay constitute services rendered abroad to non-residents okay this is a foreign consumption therefore exempt from VAT okay tanda na to, outgoing subject to zero rated VAT kung incoming exempt from VAT so or VAT exempt Okay, zero rated kung outgoing, okay, kung incoming, pasulod sa Philippines, uh, exempt from bad, not exempt. Example, incoming. So, incoming, alagay eh, sa foreign countries to the Philippines, ano siya, but exempt. Okay, ang outgoing, Philippines to other, uh, to foreign countries, na 300 million, um, zero rated. And domestic flights, of course, subject to 12% ka VAT. Okay, simple as that. Tama? Sale of power or fuel generated through uh, renewable sources of energy. So, the sale ko ng power or fuel from renewable uh, sources of energy is zero rated. So, zero rated sila. Renewable resources of energy may include but are not limited to biomass, solar, wind, hydropower, geothermal and steam, ocean energy and other emerging sources using technologies such as uh, fuel cells and hydrogen fuels. The zero rating treatment is limited to the sale of power and does not extend to sale of services related to the maintenance. Kita nyo da ang ang aton nga electric bills. Makita nyo da sa billings na to. Meron da nga VAT on generation charge. Tatlo lang na ang bilang ng mga VAT. The rest, 
'di ba? Uh, zero rated siya. Okay, wala kita uh, makita ng uh, uh, tax na ton sa other mga charges. Limited lang siya sa sale of power and uh, does not extend to sale of services. So, mag-sale ka na sa mga distribution charges, mga ano pa, kung ikaw ang gabaligya ng isang power, ikaw ang supply dito sa, di ba, ang tawag na sa more power, di ba, or eleko, distributor lang na sila. So, may arag din nga, nga power or fuel, no? Nga gabaligya sila sa, sila ang supply dito. So, ang muna ang ginestorya natin, ang muna ang gabaligya sa power or fuel generated through renewable energy. So, ang muna ni ang Um, tawag din. Amo lang ni ang mga example nga pwede pwede sila ma zero rated na sale. Okay? Other than that, like mga wala man di diesel powered uh, uh, power plant, no? Wala din. So, subject sila. Hindi sila ka sa zero rating. Okay? Tanda na to na mga renewable resources. Amo lang na ang pwede sa zero rated mga sales. Next one, mga types uh, of businesses in the electricity uh, business natin. Generation companies. Amin um, siya mga person authorized by ERC to operate a facility used in the um, production of electricity. Number two, transmission companies. So silang sa mga transmitters, di ba? Refer to a person that owns and conveys electricity to through the high voltage backbone system. So, amun yung tatlong bilog types ng electricity business and distribution companies. Number three, refer to persons or entities including distribution utilities such as electric co-ops which operates a distribution system with the provision of RA9136. Or just correct your notes, it viral Uh, law, law ni siya. Okay. Distribution companies and transmission companies are just pass-through entities. So, ginaagyan lang siya ang distribution companies. Okay. Illustration natin. Sale of electricity generated by hydro plant. Renewable? Yes. Solar plant? Yes. Coal power plant? Renewable siya. Ang coal. Wala siya, di ba? No? Wala siya. Ang gas power plant. Na stated to sa example. Gas. Is it parts ng geothermal or end steam? Emerging sources. So, ang key term is renewable. Okay? Sources of energy. Di ba nakaka-deplete na siya? No? Hindi siya ma... Ang coal, tapos mga natural gas na to. Is it here? Wala. Wala siya, di ba? So, let's see. 22 million sales of electricity from hydro and solar are zero rated. Correct. The 45 million, again, the raw million, coal and gas, okay, are subject to 12% back. So, check to natin yung analysis. Friendly siya renewable na ka-deplete siya. So, therefore, subject siya sa uh, 12% nga bad. Okay. Services rendered to ecozones. So, kagina, ecozones, can discuss naman. So, this time, services. Okay, kagina, goods. So, bang naman is services. So, may illustration kita. Orishi Enterprise, a VAT taxpayer engaged in electronic repair. Okay was accredited by Texas Instru Instruments Philippines to be its PC board repair provider. Texas Instruments is a PESA registered ecozone. Okay, manufacturer. Rishi Enterprise also provided electronic repairs on computers owned by several restaurants operating inside the ecozone. So, although restaurants are within the ecozone, only those Uh, PESA certified lang. PESA registered ecozone. Amo lang na ang aton nga katutukan. Okay? Orishi Enterprise receipts from Texas Instruments Philippines is zero rated. The rest ko no, since establishments like restaurants inside the ecozones are not registrable enterprise na. So, they're 
Therefore, receipts from them are subject to 12% but only those, okay, during the analysis natin sa ating problem, only those mga companies na uh, registered sa PESA. Okay? Amo lang na ang pwede uh, ma-zero rated. The rest, subject nito sa 12% nga VAT. Okay? Enhanced uh, VAT refund system. So, ang key term lang din naton, um, DOF shall establish a VAT refund center in the BIR and the uh, BOC that will handle the processing and granting the cash refunds of creditable input VAT within 90 days. All amount equivalent to 5% of the total VAT collections of the BIR and the BOC from the immediately preceding year shall be na, automatically appropriated annually and shall be treated as a special account in the general fund. Kung baga na discuss lang niya kung ano ang VAT refund system nila. Paano i-refund ang VAT for, for this mga zero rated? Di ba may ginatawag kita na exempt siya? Uh, tapos may araban nga zero rated. So mga zero rated sales na ito, may araban nga VAT refund system. Okay, because uh, wala ka output VAT pero may araban ka nga creditable input VAT. So may option ka di ba to refund, request a refund sa BIR and the other one is imuon mo siya nga um, imuon mo siya nga uh, credit sa mga mga baliran. Okay? Officials, agents of BIR who deliberately causes delay in the processing shall be subjected to, of course, ang mula na ilang uh, system within the tax code. Okay, moving forward, zero rated sales that will be subjected to 12% VAT upon establishment of an enhanced VAT refund system. So once we establish ko no ang VAT refund system, mga zero rated sales nga ni will be subjected to 12% VAT upon establishment na pending the successful establishment on of or and implementation of an enhanced VAT refund system the following shall still be considered export sales subject to 0% so mentras wala pa sang uh, enhanced VAT refund system basta wala pa ni okay hindi pa siya ma-establish. Okay? Hindi pa siya ma-12% VAT. So, subong 0% VAT pa lang siya. Kaya ang, ang concept diri is, since um, hindi pa sila ma-subject sa 12% VAT, ma-refund good siya yan. Diba? Ma-refund. Okay? That's why kinanglan sa ating government ang enhanced VAT refund system. So, sila ma-refund sa taxpayers. Sale, so many siya mga following considered export sale subject to 0% VAT. Number one, the sale of raw mate materials, uh, packaging materials to non-resident buyer okay, for delivery to a resident export-oriented enterprise to be used in manufacturing, processing, packing, or repacking in the Philippines of the said buyers of goods. Again, uh, same rules, no? Uh, paid in acceptable foreign currency and accounted for in accordance with the rules and regulation of BSP. Number two, sale of raw materials or packaging material to an export-oriented enterprise whose export sales exceeds na, ang percentage ng tandaan natin, 70% of total uh, annual production. 70% of total annual production. Okay? Number three, those considered export sales under EO226 or Omnibus Investment Code of 1987 and other special laws. So, um, pending daw, uh, pending daw for na successful establishment. So, kumbaga wala pa na, na naging successful ang pag-establish ng uh, enhanced VAT refund system. So, ang tatlongan ni, they will be subjected to 0% VAT. All we need to do is just to have this uh, memorized. Memorize na natin ang tatlo kabilom. Okay? The following sales of services, ang pag niya, additional, no? Shall likewise be considered zero rated, okay? In addition sa apat, asa ah, tatlo, discuss natin, may additional pa siya nga, dua, processing, manufacturing, repacking of goods, or repacking goods for other persons doing business outside the Philippines which goods are 
subsequently exported. Na after that, you export. So it will be subjected to zero rated. Number two, services performed by subcontractors and or contractors in processing, converting, manufacturing goods for an enterprise whose export sales exceed 70% of total annual production. Don't mean what you want the first two, no? The only difference here actually is, I think, um, subsequently na exported, ang sa babaw, um, export-oriented na siya dahil. Kumbaga, ang dere, hindi siya, um, kumbaga, ginaubra siya, okay? Doing business outside the Philippines which are exported subsequently. Ang malang na dugang, I think. Okay? Number two, ano kinalender eh? Sa 70%. Yan, analyze natin, no? Sale of raw materials. Okay, packaging. So, export-oriented enterprise. Okay? Ang sa babaw, export-oriented enterprise. Ano mo na? In general. Ang sa ikadawa, wala di ang wala siya export oriented hindi siya export oriented okay pero subsequently i-export man siya okay whose export sales na so same ang treatment sa iya magiging zero rated so ang five ning example okay plus ang dua de ang mani siya ang uh, subject to 0% ng VAT so dapat dapat mo lang at least ma-memorize mo, ah, processing, manufacturing, uh, subsequently. So, doing business outside the Philippines. So, tapos yun, no? Ang difference nila, ang sa first export-oriented, resident export-oriented enterprise. Okay? Um, let's move forward. Sale to an export-oriented. na what lang. Sale to an export, uh, export-oriented enterprise. Any enterprise whose export sales exceed 70% of the total annual production of the preceding taxable year shall be considered as an exported, export-oriented enterprise. So, kumbaga, depende sa percentage siyang, siyang, gina, uh, siyang export sales. So, hindi man siya 100%, kundi um, ceiling natin is 70% at least na sales niya is mga export sales. Okay. Requirement na ito, um, I think dual lang, no? A, A and B. Requirement for zero rating of export sales to non-residents. The sale must have been paid, okay, same mag po, paid in acceptable foreign currency. Number two, sale must be accounted for under, of course, the rules and regulations ang natin yung BSP. Amo ni ang mga considered export sales under EO226 and other special laws. So, pila ni nga bilog? There are 1, 2, 3, 4. Tapos under sa number 4, meron ka ta ABC, DEF. Okay, so may anong siya ka bilog. Okay. Ano ni siya? The Philippine FOB or FOB value of export products exported directly by an export producer. So, man siya considered as export sales. Ang Philippine kung ang FOB uh, value of export products exported directly by an export producer. Okay, number two, the net selling price of export products sold by a registered producer to another export producer. Okay, the net selling price of export products sold by a registered producer. So, local producer siya, tapos kimbaligyan niya sa export producer. The net selling price of, kumbaga sa true or false or sa multiple choice na ton. So, mahatag example sa mga money, no? Apat kabilog or di sa dalong. So, sa DND, ang makonsidered as export sales. Okay? Ang money mga special uh, laws na ton, Executive Order 226. Okay? Net selling price of export products, yung baligya siya sa registered export producer to an export trader. So, puro lang export, no? Export, export, export that is subsequently exports the same. So, to another export producer. By an export producer, export, okay? Subsequently exports the same. 
Number four, even without actual exploitation, the following shall be considered constructively. Okay, constructively, wala actual exploitation. Wala ka, uh, wala may natabo na uh, nagpadala ka sa, uh, example, uh, local producer ka, tapos nag-export ka. There's no actual, but constructively, kumbaga daw deem sales, no? mga style ba lang like, constructively export na siya, na-consider export. Okay, uh, anong kamilog? Kung magbalik ka kita sa uh, two-banded manufacturing warehouse, so ang warehouse na ito, export-oriented enterprise siya. So, consider siya as export sale. Although, wala ka nag-export pagwa ng mga product. Pero, nagbalig ka sa um, mga export-oriented enterprise. Okay, letter B, sales to export processing zones. So, pursuant to RA 7916, 7903, and 7922, and other similar export processing processing zones. So, mali yung tandaan na ton. Kung export processing zones, kung baga ginaprocess din for export siya. So, export sale man na siya makonsider. Okay? Letter C, sale to enterprise duly registered and accredited by the Bay, Menop uh, Bay Metropolitan Authority. So, magbalig ka ni ko, no? Sa mga duly, okay? Duly registered lang and accredited sa BMA or Bay Metropolitan Authority. So, makonsider siya as export sales. Letter D. Sale to registered export traders operated bonded. Operating bonded. Nga, operating. Basta ba bonded manufacturing warehouses gani. Eh. Supplying raw materials in the manufacture of export products. Basta related siya sa mga export no, products na ito. Letter E, sales to diplomatic missions okay, and other agencies and or instrumentalities granted tax immunities of locally manufactured, assembled, repack products whether or not paid for in foreign currency. Okay, mga diplomatic missions. So key term, diplomatic missions and other agencies or instrumentalities okay as long as nagrant sila sa tax immunities immunities meaning immune sila sa tax hindi sila matax so as long as granted sila sa tax immunity so magiging uh, zero uh, magiging zero rate at siya maging export sale siya okay sale of goods properties to a uh, BOI Board of Investment Registered Manufacturer or Producer. Okay? As simple as that. So, A, B, C, D, E, F. So, an anong kabilog? By legal fiction, diplomatic missions and instrumentalities with tax immunity are outside the tax juri jur jurisdiction of the state. So, kumbaga, hindi sila matax ang uh, Philippine government eh, because Outside na siya sa uh, tax jurisdiction. Ang mga diplomatic missions and instrumental peace, taxable sila yan sa ilang country. So sa Philippines, immune sila, hindi sila matax sa Philippine government. The same to these entities is akin to a sale to land residents. Okay? And is therefore considered as export sale. Okay? And this is our last slide, I think, no? Sale of goods, properties, or services. So, kung yung, yung ano lang siya, yung elaborate sa mga BOI or Board of Investment, registered manufacturer or producer. The sale of goods, properties, or services made by a VAT registered supplier to a BOI registered manufacturer, producer whose products are 100% exported are considered export sales. No, dapat, ang percentage is 100%. A certification to this effect, which is good for one year, must be issued by BOI. So, dapat may issued yun siya yung UI. Okay? I think that's it for our um, discussion sa Module 6, Output VAT, uh, Zero Rated Sales. Hopefully, in this um, 
simple discussion no there are things that we need to remember ang concept sang zero rated okay in differentiate na ton ang, ang zero rated sa bat exam okay ng mga sales and also also umusa ko tingo also zero rated sales of goods so export sales and effectively zero rated sales okay so guys i think that's it so after this um live streaming naton after this live discussion naton uh, you can go go back sa atin discussion uh, you can just scroll sa atin na, you can just swipe you can just drag our video there is a youtube um while it is it is ano, available sa atin sa for this output back zero rated sales again ang atin nga mid server um coverage from module 1 to module 6 naton and Ana, um, we will have uh, a special session siguro if uh, may time pa or else I'll just forward some ano siguro, mga quizzers or mga something like uh, reviewer siguro no. And importante guys, um, mga self-test questions na ton sa every end sa ito na chapter sa book ma go through nyo mga true or false, mga multiple choices, mga problems nila. So, it will cover sa atin na mid-summer in summer. Okay? Before I end, I just want to to give a um, few few seconds lang. One word siguro nga pwede ko mabilin sa inyo um, before you take the exam. Uh, you did your best. Okay? Number one, you did your best already because of watching this from beginning to end when okay, you're doing what you're uh, supposed to do actually don't feel na uh, do ko lang pa ako na study or do ko lang pa ako na tuon for this uh, subject or for this uh, mid-summer subjects so, you have to be confident so yourself although um, mabud like siya analyze for some time but uh, you have to give yourself some credit no, you are doing something good. No, um, when you want to memorize, just do some, siguro mga uh, acronyms or mga like kung ano ang mas effective sa inyo, na mas masawulong mo siya or ano ang like patukar ka sa music siguro or something like makahelp sa inyo makasawulong ka or sometimes um, coffee break man ka mo or design ng mga di ba Dutch me just to uh, refresh yourself. Okay, kasi it's so hard din, no? Kung dira kang sa balay, uh, challenging din. Except lang kung may separate kang room, separate kang office, para sa mga studies. But overall though, very challenging, I understand. Even sa akin na part. But out of uh, my passion and love just to record this message for all of us as we learn, I am learning. You are learning, so we are learning together, you know? and I'm so thankful guys, I'm so thankful for those kind messages you know, for the forward you sa akin. It just motivate me to be better, to correct how to pronounce no, some of words, because I'm no, no, uh, sometimes I'm uh, a speech defect, na to. Uh, but uh, we will always keep on improving, okay? Same and same, you know? How you manage your time, how you manage your uh, self eventually sa mga uh, studies, no? So, I think that's it guys. I hope uh, you have a good night rest and um, I will see you soon, okay? That's it for today for Output Bad Zero Rated Sales. And again, this is LV and, and I am your uh, millennial mentor, millennial instructor. Just want to give you uh, some sort of motivation from time to time okay so i love you guys see you soon